gets the details now. And Ghana is preparing to send relief supplies to Sierra Leone, a nation mourning the tragic loss of nearly 600 lives in a flooding disaster. The government of the country has declared seven days of mourning beginning from today. ECOWAS uh, has also donated 200,000 US dollars to the Sierra Leonean government and other support, including the deployment of the West African Health Organization to offer help. Israel was the first country to deliver enough food aid for 10,000 meals to Sierra Leone, according to its foreign ministry. But information reaching us indicate that the Sierra Leonean Commission uh, is meeting the Ministry for Foreign Affairs to deliberate on ways forward. We will monitor that and bring you up to speed with that with what transpires in that meeting. Well, let's go over the phone again and speak with, speak with Eric Kawa. He's a journalist with Star Radio in Freetown. Hello, Eric. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Are you okay yourself? Yes, indeed. Gifty, I'm okay. Thank you so much. Very well. W tell us what the situation is at the moment. We understand that about 600 people are unaccounted for. What's the latest? Okay, actually, uh, at the moment, what is happening right now, or we don't have a specific amount of people who have died or who have not been accounted for, because as it is right now, they report cases each and every hour. We get people who have caught or dead, they have been picked up in the rubble, and we know more people are still in the rubble, but we can't give an, ex an exact number right now as to what is, as what is happening. But at the moment, everything, business is as normal as it could be, but uh, people have been mourning, because the president has declared seven days of national mourning throughout the country, and in which um, from today, 14, or from from today, and uh, mm. of course, at 12 o'clock, there was a uh, minute of silence all over the country for people to observe, and families have been advised to ensure that they visit the mortuary at corner to identify their victims or their family members who fell victims, and as well as to ensure that they arrange for proper burial we should be happy in the country soon. Mm. We also know that there's some relief items on the way. I don't know if at this point uh, you've received any of them. Uh, relief items from here in Ghana, we understand, will be coming. Uh, we also know that the ECOWAS is sending in some money. At this point, what can you say about relief and where they're coming from? Yes, exactly. Yesterday, the president of Guinea, uh, President Alpha Conde, was here and of course he brought in some money and some rice and gave to members and helped to sympathize with Sierra Leoneans for the loss and uh, the Red Cross from Liberia has also jetted in the country and we're expecting more people as you said who will be coming into the country anytime soon to ensure that they uh, patronize and help in the search and the rescue because that is what is uh, going on right now it's about search and rescue uh, of the people who lost you know because it's very devastating as we all know but that, that's why I'm asking about the relief items, because if, if it's about saving people and looking for uh, possible, possibly, rescue, um, possibly survivors of this tragedy, then you're going to need a lot of help with you know, what's needed to find those in this condition at the moment. Apart from uh, President uh, Alpha Conde, who you said has been there, who else has been there with help? Well, as I said, the Red Cross, and they have been okay. here, and there have been the people, of course, the citizens of the country have also been uh, mobilizing and ensuring that they go to the places to uh, give some relief services and even giving clothes and other different stuff. But um, generally, the, we know that the country was challenged during the Ebola sector, so mm -hmm. the health system is largely challenged. But, um, of course, the Red Cross and uh, other different partners have been trying to see how best they could give support to those people. And in terms of other materials, like trying to get the people off, like we have the caterpillars, which mm. are a bit difficult. We have just like two machines, which is very challenging, and they're not enough to dig up all the bodies. So it's going to take some time before they will definitely get all those people who are down the ground as it is right now. Seven days of mourning. Sounds like the entire country is at a standstill. What's happening to education? What ha what's happening to health delivery? What's happening to life generally? Well, the seven days of mourning is not like um, in any different way in which people will be closing their shops or closing their businesses. As I said earlier, business is going on as normal as it could be. People are selling for just that we want to mourn. And people, even young people, have uh, decided to organize a candle night today, which people will be gathering to the historic cutting tree from the east and the western part of the capital to mourn for the people who've lost their lives. 
So generally, business is normal as it could be. But during this time, all flags will be um, raised half mass. And of course, the minute of silence was observed. And there will be a mass burial tomorrow. And uh, other victims who were not um, identified, the government has also given uh, the assurance that those people will be given a very dignified uh, burial on the 17th and the 18th of August at Waterloo, to be specific. Has the rains stopped? Well, as of now, a few minutes from now, it was raining, but not so heavily. But as I'm talking to you right now, the, the place where I'm, I'm right now, because I'm at Brookfield, at the radio's office, uh, it's not raining at the moment. But with some forecasts that we've been receiving, uh, the forecast has been showing that there will be continuous rain during uh, this uh, period in time. They, are, they have revealed that. But as of now, uh, the rain is okay from the end where I am, despite I've not been to the other places. But from where I am right now, uh, the forecast is uh, the rain is okay. Finally, what's the most needed uh, item as we speak? What's the most needed item for Sierra Leone? Well, the most needed item for Sierra Leone is for us to get support from people like bringing up more or tractors, more ambulances, because that is also another challenge. The ambulances were not enough to take mm. the body from where they are to the mortuary. That is a big problem. And even people, human beings, were actually using their bare hands to take mm. um, the bodies out from where they, they were. So that is a big challenge. So more tractors or caterpillars are needed and of course relief services and lot 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 more things are, are needed but those are the few things that i would actually uh, mention right now but that is also needed okay thank you very much eric for your time we hope that you all stay safe and we 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 uh commiserate with all of you um that is eric kawa he is a journalist in sierra leone helping us with that information from there i also have on the line